Precious Heavenly Father. Baba yetu wa thamani wa mbinguni. Almighty God, we come before your throne of grace. Mungu mwenye nguvu tunakuja kwenye kiti chako cha rehema. I pray that you may come in this service. Tunaomba kwamba utakuja kwenye ibada hii. Lord that you may speak to us. Bwana ili utunenee. Break the bread of life. Tuvunjie ule mkate wa uzima. That our eyes may be opened. Ili macho yetu yaweze kufumbuliwa. May we realize with realization. Hebu na tukapate ufahamu na kutambua where we are now in the image of God. Mahali tulipo sasa katika sura ya Mungu. How far we have gone. Umbali gani tumeenda? And how close the rapture is. Na jinsi unyakuo ulivyo karibu. Hide me in the shadow of the cross. Hebu nifiche katika kivuli cha ule msalaba. And let Jesus Christ and him alone be the one that is projected. Hebu Yesu Kristo ye peke yake na aonekane. We pray in Jesus name. Tunaomba katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. I really wish I was not preaching. Ah, natamani nisinge kuwa mhubiri leo. I really wish the pastor was preaching. Ningetamani mchungaji wetu atuhubirie. Ah, uh, my notebook is almost full. Yes. The notebook is almost full. Ah, uh, daftari langu la maandalizi limeshaja. Uh, noti ya, notebook yangu karibu imejaa. Yes, uh, with with notes. Ikiwa na na na, na notes from the preaching kutokana na mahubiri. So uh, when I go back to South Africa. Kwa hiyo wakati nitakaporudi Afrika Kusini, I'm going to be equipped. Na kwenda nikiwa nimeshavikwa zana. And ready to preach. Na tayari kwa kuhubiri. Amen. Uh, I, I enjoyed being here in in in, in Mwanza. Nimefurahia kuwa hapa Mwanza. Uh, it's a very good place. Ni mahali pazuri sana. A very good people. Watu wazuri sana. Welcoming spirit. Wakiwa na roho ya ukarimu. I believe if God gives us grace. Na mimi kwa neema ya Bwana, Yesu Kristo. One day I will learn uh, Swahili. Siku moja nitajifunza Kiswahili. And I'll, I'll preach in Swahili. <laughs> na nitahubiri Kiswahili. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's stand up on our feet. Bwana pe sifa hebu tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Amen. So we want to continue. Because uh, we could not finish what we we're talking about. So we want to look at almost the same matter. But from a different angle. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 30 verses 18 Mithali 30 mstari wa 18:18 Says the wisest men on earth speaking This is the wisest man speaking. Huyu ni yule mtu mwenye hekima sana akiongea. Solomon. Selemani. He says uh, there be three things which are too wonderful for me. Hiyo ni mithali 30 mstari wa 18. Kuna mambo matatu yaliyo ya ajabu kwangu. Yeah uh, for which I know not. Naam, kuna manne nisiyoyajua. The way of an eagle in the air mwendo hatai katika hewa the way of a serpent upon the rock na mwendo wa nyoka juu ya mwamba the way of a ship in the midst of the sea mwendo omerikebu katikati ya bahari and the way of a man with a maid na mwendo wa mtu pamoja na msichana so last time we read verses 20 kwa hiyo uh, mara mwisho tulisoma ule mstari wa 20 when we say it, such is the way of an adulterous woman <laughs> yes maybe pastor you can come and interpret is it okay all right oh 
Okay. It says, for such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth Hula. and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have not done, I have done no wickedness. And we said, uh, this is the doctrine of the serpent seed. To say that eating in the garden of Eden was adultery. Because the scripture says this is the way of an adulterous woman. She, she, she eateth. So eating is connected to adultery. And she wipes her mouth. And she says, I have not committed anything. But uh, today we, we are talking about the four things that Solomon could not understand. So we want to talk about a complete picture. Uh, the last time we were talking about a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, so a picture that has been cut into small pieces. So we are talking about putting the small pieces to make the complete picture. Okay. So today we are talking about the complete picture. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for we've read what we believe to be your scripture. We pray that you may anoint it, that it may be Spirit-filled spoken words. Lord, I pray that you may reveal your word that it may be alive to us. I can just read it as a man. But I'm depending on you. My entire life and my entire ministry has just been to depend on you. I pray that you have your way now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Says last time we spoke on a jigsaw puzzle. That uh, 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 these are pictures that has been cut off. And uh, there is a deliberate cutting of these pictures. And these pictures are then put uh, in a box. And the game is to take the little pieces to make the, the, the complete picture. And we say, Brother Branham told us that the Bible is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's uh, little pieces that has been cut uh, and thrown in there. So what you need is a man that that understands the complete picture so that you can be able to recreate it. So you need a man that understands where this scripture comes, where this paragraph comes to be able to make the complete picture. Amen. Now the Bible is a, is a vision is a is a vision that is written it is a vision of redemption it is the plan of god's redemption and god wrote this from genesis to revelation even before the foundation of the world Brother Branham tells us that the book that was sealed is the Bible. 
He says the Bible was sealed with seven seals. So it's not another book. It's the same book. And that book was written before the foundation. So the people that wrote this physical book that we see today we're writing that book copying another book that was in the heavens. Uh, that's why you see uh, Moses when he was building the pattern of the tabernacle he was building the pattern of the tabernacle after the pattern which is in heaven so today we need a man yes we need a man that can be able to, to tell us how it is written in the heavens and, and bring the one that is written in the heavens to match it with the one that is written on earth. Okay, some, something is coming to me fresh. Uh, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah went and bought a piece of land. And when he bought this piece of land, he was in prison. And then it was redemption of the land. Because Jeremiah was a kingsman. When, when he did that, he called one of his relatives and two lawyers to come in the prison room. A prison room in the prison cell. And while they were in there, there were, there were two writings uh, of the land, of ya, the inheritance. Ya, ya, ya ile ya uh, there was one that was written moja, mekwa, which was a title deed that says this land belongs to so and so. Niya flan, niya, niya flani, but before it belonged to so and so, it used to belong to so and so. And before it belonged to that person, it belonged also to so and so. So that title did he had a history of the parcel of land. And that part of the title did is called an abstract title deed. So an abstract deed is not just a title deed that shows the current owner. It, it is a title deed that shows all the other previous owners. In other words, it's got the history of the parcel of ground. And now it was sealed. And it was put in an earthen vessel. And, and then there was another one which was not put in an earthen vessel. But the information that is written is little information. Maybe the, the, the parcel of land has been owned by 54 people. So they, they are written on the abstract. But, but on this other title deed, maybe there's just two people that are written. To say Jeremiah got the land from Arnold. So Jeremiah knows the land is his. Because he's got a title deed. But if ever there is a dispute about the inheritance, 
Just the title deed is not enough. You need an abstract that shows the history of the land. And in the abstract, there is a, a record of different places in the land. To say on such a corner, maybe there's gold. Labda pame 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 His gold. Maybe here there's a water. Labda hapa kuna maji. The land has already been surveyed. Maybe on a certain place you are not supposed to build. Labda same flani haitaki wiki kujengwe. Because the 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 the, the uh, okay I want to find this an easy term. There's dolomite. You know there's a, a certain rocks that if you build the house will fall inside. Eh, natajaribu kutafuta msamiati sahihi unajua kuna sehemu ambayo eh, huwezi kuchimba huko huko chini kwa sababu kuna dola mighty okay. so so there is a record kwa hivyo kuna kumbukumbu of every corner of this parcel of ya land. kila kona ya sehemu kipande hiki cha ardhi so 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 the one that has got just a normal title deed kwa yule ambaye anahatimiliki tu ya kawaida has got the land ana ana ardhi but it doesn't have enough information lakini hana taarifa za kutosha about the land that he owns kuhusiana na ile ardhi ambayo so, anaimiliki so the bible kwa hivyo biblia is the one that was not uh, the one the written bible ilikuwa ni uh, biblia tu is the simple title deed ambayo ni kama hatimiliki ile rahisi there is another bible kuna biblia nyingine which has got more information ambayo ina taarifa zaidi and that bible is sealed na ile biblia ambayo ina taarifa za kutosha imetiwa so, muhuri so you need the bible that is unsealed kwa hivyo unahitaji biblia ambayo imefunguliwa so that you can compare ili uweze kulinganishia what you are having kile ulichonacho hapa and what you what you have but you don't know you have na kile ambacho unacho ni haki yako ni mali yako lakini hujui kama ni chako amen so 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 the prophet kwa hivyo nabii he is coming yeye anakuja to tell you things that are in the bible kukuonyesha mambo ambayo yako kwenye biblia hii that you thought you knew ambayo uliwazia kwamba unajua but you didn't know enough lakini hukujua vya kutosha they belong to you ni mali yako they are already given to you tayari umeshapewa it's in your title deed yani tayari vimo katika ile hatimiliki yako you, you don't have confidence lakini huna ujasiri because you don't know the history kwa sababu hujui historia but, but here he comes lakini hapa anakuja and he says this is the history anasema hivi historia ya hii hati ya hii ardhi ni hii hapa he says you know of a lamp inasema uh, you know of a lamp Una, unajua eh, eh, ya mwana kondoo yes kon, ya kondoo yeah. yeah you know of a lamp that was killed 2000 years unajua ago unajua habari ya mwana kondoo aliyeuawa miaka 2000 iliyopita on the cross M- pale msalabani and that lamp is wonderful na kwa kweli yule mwana kondoo ni mzuri he says but there is another lamp anakuambia lakini hujui kuna mwana kondoo mwingine that was killed ambaye alishauawa not 2000 years ago akuuawa miaka 2000 iliyopita but before the foundation huyu, of the world huyu aliuawa kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu and your name na jina lako was written liliandikwa in the book katika kitabu can the sisters only say amen sasa hebu wadada nao usinanyi semeni amen i want to make sure we are together are we together nataka nihakishe tuko pamoja tuko pamoja your name jina lako was written liliandikwa in the book katika kitabu before the foundation kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu so my name kwa hiyo jina langu might not be in a church book linaweza lisiwe kwenye kitabu cha kanisa i am not worried hata sita sitaangaika my name ya jina langu might not be at the passport office linaweza lisiwe katika ofisi yoyote wanaotoa hati za kusafiria i am not worried mimi sijali my name might not be in a bank's book inawezekana jina langu lisiwe kwenye in, uh, in the bank katika vitabu vya benki I might not even have a birth certificate <laughs> Inawezekana hata sina karatasi zozote za benki Hallelujah zozote. All these things are Mambo haya yote ni kisi kitu What's important is my name Ni jina langu is written 
kwamba limeandikwa katika kitabu cha mwana kondoo and for you to understand that na wewe ili uweze kuelewa hilo has to be a man lazima kuwe na mtu that can go and break the earthen vessel ambaye anaweza kaenda avunje kile chombo cha udongo and tell you what was sealed inside akwambie kile ambacho kilifichwa humo now, now the treasure sasa eh, kile eh, ile kitu cha thamani au hazina was not put in a glass bottle hazina ilikuwa haiwekwi kwenye chupa za za za, za, za glasi It was not put in a wooden a bottle. Wala ilikuwa iwekwi kwenye vyombo vya mpya mbao. It, it, it was put in an earthen vessel. Vilikuwa vikiwekwa katika vyombo vya vya ardhi yani vya udongo. And when God was creating Adam, Na Mungu alipokuwa akimuumba Adam, He took the earth. Alichukua udongo. To create a vessel. Akaumba kile chombo. So that means that the treasure Sasa inamaanisha ya kwamba is always sealed inside of a man. Inamaanisha ya kwamba hazina daima hufichwa ndani ya mtu so what you need today kwa hivyo kile unachohitaji leo is a man with ni, a treasure ni mtu ambaye ana hazina that is sealed inside of you ambayo hazina hiyo imefichwa ndani ya huyo mtu so that he can give you the complete picture ili kwamba aweze kukupa picha kamilifu hallelujah amen So you might be walking around. Sasa inawezekana unazunguka zunguka. With, with the picture which is just the body. Ukiwa na picha ambayo sio halisi. You know sometimes you ask a person take us a picture. Unajua kuna wakati unamwomba mtu hebu tupige picha. And the person takes a picture. Na mtu anapiga picha. And maybe you are tall. Na inawezekana wewe ni mrefu. And he, he takes everyone that is shorter than you. Na anapiga picha wote ambao ni wafupi kuliko wewe. And you 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 are, you, are, you are there. Na wewe uko hapo but you are not there because your head is not Na wewe there. sasa huonekani kwa sababu alilenga wale wafupi kwa hiyo wewe kichwa kionekani So he cut, he cut your head off Kichwa chako kinakuwa kimekatwa So so when people come Kwa hivyo watu wanapokuja and say where were you Wanakuuliza wewe ulikuwa wapi hapa On this picture Kwenye picha hii You say I, I was there Unasema nilikuepo This is me Huyo hapa ni mimi. They say but your head is not there. lakini kichwa chako kikionekana. So, so, so for 2000 years. Kwa hiyo miaka 2000 iliyopita. The picture of Jesus Christ. Picha ya Yesu Kristo. It was just a body. Ilikuwa tu ni mwili tu. Without the head. Bila kichwa. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Foxes have holes. Ma, eh, mbweha wana, wana mapango. The birds have got nests. Ndege wana viota. But the son of man Lakini mwana wa Adam has no place to lay his head. Hana mahali pa kuweka kichwa chake. In other words the head kwa ma, maneno mengine was waiting for a body. Ma, kwa maneno mengine kichwa kilikuwa kinaongojea mwili to come to maturity. Ili ufikie ukomavu. So that the head can come and be joined. Ili kwamba kichwa kije kiunganishwe together with the body. Kiunganishwe pamoja na mwili. And in 1963 na mwana kwa hivyo mwaka 1963 the head came down kichwa kikashuka and the head was photographed na kile kichwa sasa kikapigwa picha oh this time wakati wote huu we had the photograph of the body tulikuwa na picha tuna tuna picha But ya mwili tu was not complete picha ilikuwa haijakamilika until the head came Bada down kichwa kiliposhuka hallelujah hallelujah here in mwanza hapa mwanza the head must come down kichwa lazima kishuke hapa so that the picture can Ili be complete picha kamili hallelujah Amen. And the head is more important than Na, the body. Kichwa ni cha muhimu kuliko mwili. That's why if you go to take a driver's license. Ndio sababu ukienda kwenda kuomba leseni ya udereva. They don't put your whole body. Hawa hawaweki mwili wako wote. They just put your face. Wanaweka uso wako. Because your head is more important. Kichwa chako ndio cha muhimu zaidi. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Is the head stone. Yeye ndiye kichwa jiwe la kichwa. He is the stone that the builders rejected. Yeye ndiye jiki ndiye jiwe ambalo washi walilikata and in this day na siku hii he is coming to reunite with the body ameja kuungana na mwili wake the body is the church mwili ni kanisa the body is the believers Ka, eh, mwili ni waaminiyo but the head lakini kichwa is jesus christ ni yesu kristo can you say amen unaweza ukasema amina hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> i see the pastor can continue hivi najisikia mchungaji aendelee yeye i know It is your turn. <laughs> so the Bible says. Kwa hivyo Biblia inasema the vision is yet for an appointed time. Kwamba ono litakuja kwa wakati uliokusudiwa. At the end it shall speak. Na mwishoni lile ono litanena lenyewe litajinenea. It shall not lie. Na hilo ono halitadanganya. It will surely speak. 
hakika litanena so this shows that the vision sasa hiyo inaonyesha ya kwamba ono a vision brother branham says it's a picture ono ndugu branham anasema ni picha so when brother branham is uh, seeing somebody kwa hiyo ndugu branham ama alipokuwa akimuona mtu fulani and he's talking to the person na anaongea na mtu huyo is talking to them from a picture anaongea nao kutoka kwenye picha yao uh, even what they call television hata kile ambacho wanaita television television is just pictures television ni picha tu that are moving very fast ni picha tu ambazo zinaenda haraka and then that is a video na ndio zinaitwa video that's why you see the same camera that he is using to take a video kwa sababu unaona kwamba kamera ile ile anayotumia kuchukua video if he presses a button akibonyeza kitufe it can become a picture inageuka kuwa picha tu with with my phone na kukupa, kwenye simu yangu i can take pictures naweza nikapiga picha that if you touch on them ili kwamba ambazo pia uki if you do what if you, if you hold them like kama ambazo press, kama ukibonyeza ukashikilia it will start playing like a video zitaanza kucheza kama video it's a picture ni picha but it plays like a video lakini inacheza cheza kama so, video so so, so a, a, a picture kwa hivyo picha is what they use to produce a video uh, picha ndizo zinazotumika kutengeneza video so brother branham would see pictures of you kwa hiyo ndugu branham angeona picha zako flashing before him zikiwa zinacheza mbele yako mbele yake and depending on what he is seeing na kutegemeana na kile anachokiona he tells you whatever anakuambia wewe chochote if he sees a small girl kama anaona msichana mdogo he says i see a small girl anasema naona msichana mdogo running in the street akikimbia barabarani and then there's a dog that is coming alafu na kuna mbwa anakuja and it barks at her na, na yule mbwa anamwekea and then she gets scared A, alafu anaogopa and from that time na kuanzia wakati she became uo, nervous aka, akawa mwenye ugonjwa wa wasiwasi and that sister starts crying na huyo sister anasema anaanza kulia it's me it's me ni mimi ni mimi and brother bram says ndugu bram anasema i see Uh, I see Mrs. Stout. Anasema namuona eh mke wa ndugu Stout. He says I see it num- house number so and so. Naona nyumba yao ni namba flani flani. And that person says that's where I'm living. Yule mtu anasema ndipo ninapoishi. He seeing the pictures. Anaona picha. And then he sees that person Na, with, without the nervousness. Alafu anamuona yule mtu yule yule akiwa sasa ni mkubwa akiwa hana tena ugonjwa wa siwasi. And then he says That say the Lord. Sasa baada hapo anasema. God is he. Bwana anasema hivi. He is declaring. Bwana amekuponya. From the picture. Anatangaza hayo kutoka kwenye picha hiyo. So, so 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 a vision. Kwa hivyo ono is a picture. Ni picha. And what's important about the vision? Na kile kilicho muhimu zaidi katika ono is not the beginning. Sio kule mwanzo. It's the end. Ni mwisho. Is that right? Them, it's the what? The ni, ni, end. Ni nini? Ni nini? Kule mwisho. Now brother Branham says sasa ndugu Bwana anasema in the message by faith Moses katika ujumbe wa kwa imani Musa no lot uh, one time sasa anasema lutu wakati mmoja he had to make a choice ilimpasa afanye uchaguzi oh, so, sorry pastor e, pa, the pasa afanye chaguo oh, is, is, the, the, the power of god i was now reading things i was supposed to read in the afternoon anasema uh, hili ninatakiwa nisome mchana okay. says uh, anasema he, here is a, the red sea hii hapa bahari ya shamu. Here is the mountains on either side. Na hapa kuna milima pande zote. And they are right back in the little neck. Na eh, wako hapo katikati wamenaswa katika sehemu nyembamba. And here comes Pharaoh's army. Na hapa farao anakuja. God led them into a trap. Mungu aliwaacha waingie kwenye huo mtego. Oh, but my God drawed out the blueprint of their journey Lo, before the world was ever made. Lo, laki, lakini Mungu wangu alikuwa tayari ana ile ramani ya safari yao tangu kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu. Isn't it before the foundation of the world? Before the foundation yeah. of the world. Alikuwa tayari ana ramani ya hiyo safari yao. Haijalishi wamenaswa pale kwenye hiyo kona nyembamba huku maadui huku maadui bahari ya Shamu na na farao nyuma. Yes. So 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 the picture kwa hivyo picha was already drawn before the foundation. Ilisha chorwa kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu. So today kwa hivyo leo you may be going through something. Inawezekana unapitia hali fulani. And sometimes you feel like ah things are very tough. Na wakati mwingine unawazia kwamba eh mambo yamekuwa magumu sana. Brother Bram says God led them through a trap. Nabii anasema ya kwamba Biblia inasema ya kwamba au nabii anasema ya kwamba Mungu aliwaacha waingie mtegoni. He had a blueprint to say they are supposed to go through here. 
Yeye kwenye ramani yake alikuwa na ramani ambayo inasema wanapaswa wapitie hapa. God is not making up things as we go. Mungu hafanyi mambo, yani hafanyi mambo kadiri tunavyoenda, yani yani tukisogea hivi anasema, "Eh, hao watapata matatizo, watengenezee njia." Ah. He, o, he already knows. Ali anajua kabla. Brother Branham says, "Don't, manasema, Mungu, don't think I am crazy." Msiwazie kwamba mimi ni mwenda wazimu. Because I hold a hallelujah. Kwa sababu ninapiga shangwe ya hallelujah. I can't help it. Siwezi kujizuia. I would blow up. I believe with this. Nitaipasua tu kwa sababu naamini hili. He says hallelujah means praise God. Hallelujah inamaanisha Hallelujah praise our God. So so that's what the preacher was, was saying before I came. Hicho ndicho muhubiri alikuwa akisema kabla sijaje. To say we are we are holy rollers. Akisema sisi ni watakatifu wanaoviringika. We make noise. Tunafanya kelele. So when you hear me say hallelujah. Wewe ukisikia mimi nasema hallelujah. Don't be shocked. Usi usi usishtushwe. Because what is causing me to say hallelujah? Kwa kile kinachonisababisha niseme hallelujah. Is I am seeing the picture. Ni kwa sababu naiona picha. Of what God has done. Ya kile Mungu alichokushafanya. Coming to uh, to to come to pass. Akikitimia. You know uh, I've had many moments. Unajua nimekuwa na nyakati mbalimbali. Where where I go to a place. Ambapo naenda mahali. And I go to this place I've never been to this place. Na naenda na mahali na hapo mahali sijawahi kufika kabisa. And I can tell that I have been here. Lakini naweza kukuambia ya kwamba hapa nishawahi kufika. But I have never been there. Lakini sijawahi kufika pale. And I, you know and I'm trying to tell the other person to Na najaribu kuambia watu wengine hapa. This, this is not my first time in Tanzania. Hii sio mara yangu ya kwanza kufika Tanzania. And someone says no, but your passport is saying it's your first time. Kwa mtu mwingine anasema hapana, mbona passport yako inaonyesha wewe ni mara yako ya kwanza? It also happens to me. Hilo pia linanitokea na mimi. You see, we have been there. Tulikuepo hapo tayari. We might not have been there in this body. Inawezekana hatukua hapo katika miili hii. This will make you understand. Hilo litakufanya uelewe. What brother Branham says I can be sitting here. Hicho ambacho ndugu Branham anasema naweza nikawa nimeketi hapa. Two hours as if I am dead. Miaka miwili, uh, miezi no sorry, masaa mawili kana kwamba nimekufa. And go to other countries. Na niende katika nchi zingine. And do whatever I do here. Na nifanye chochote ninachofanya hapa. And then come back in this body. Alafu nirudi tena katika mwili wangu. And they say that says the Lord. Alafu niseme hivi asema Bwana. You also. Wewe pia. You have the ability. Unao huo uwezo. To be here and to be there. Kuwa hapa na kuwa kule. At the same time. Wakati ule ule. And God makes it sometimes for us. Na Mungu anafanya hilo wakati mwingine kwetu. That we feel like it's a deja vu with something that has happened before. Ee tuonaona kama ni kitu fulani hivi ambacho kiliwahi kutukia tia. I, I remember one day I was sitting in na, the yard. Nakumbuka siku moja nilikuwa nimeketi uh, 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 kwenye eneo langu. And we are sitting with some sisters there. Na tulikuwa tumeketi na baadhi ya wadada pale. And while we were sitting na moja wakati umeketi pale I saw the clothes that were on the line. Nikaona eh, the cl- clothes, clothes, clothes. Nikaona nguo ambazo zilikuwa kwenye kamba. And there was a pole that was tilted like this where na, the clothes are hanging. Zile kamba uh, nguo pale kwenye ile kamba kulikuwa na ule mlingoti wa kuanikia nguo ambao ulikuwa ukifanya hivi. And while we're sitting there. Na wakati umeketi pale I just said I have seen this before. Nikasema niliona jambo hili kabla. This is I'm not seeing this for the first time. Sioni jambo hili kwa mara ya kwanza. Now I can't explain it. Sasa siwezi kuelezea. And then I said, you know what? Nikasema lakini mnajua. When, when I saw it, nikasema wakati nilipoliona, I even said I have seen this before. Nik, pia kule napo nilisema ya kwamba hili nilishaliona. So what I'm saying I said it in that what Kwa hiyo kile ninachokisema tayari kilikuwa kwenye kile kitu ambacho sijui ni nini. So I say this pole is going to fall. Nikasema hivi huu huu mlingoti wa kuanikia nguo utaanguka. As I said this pole is going to fall and then Na niliposema tu hivyo huu mlingoti utaanguka. It just looked like the clothes were too heavy for the pole and the pole went Ukafanya kana kwamba nguo zilikuwa ni nzito sana kwake huo pu. And I'm busy pulling the sister away. Na ni Araka sana nikamvuta dada kumuondoa. I am pulling her away before anything is happening. Nikaanza kumvuta kabla hakujatokea lolote. And then it happens like that. Alafu ghafla ikatokea. And the people were scared. Watu wakaogopa. Oh, 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 oh. This man is scared. Wakasema eh huyu jamaa anatisha. How did he know? Huyu mwanaume anatisha alijuajuaje? This is going to happen. Kwamba litatukia hii. We have been there. Tulikuepo. 
Amen. I am not starting to preach in Mwanza now. Sianzi kuhubiri Mwanza, yani sio mara yangu ya kwanza kuhubiri Mwanza. We we are not starting to meet now. Hatujaanza kukutana na nyie leo. If you who had forgotten. Labda kama ninyi mmesahau. But I remember you. Mimi nawakumbukeni. <laughs> Amen. I remember you. Nawakumbukeni. Hallelujah. Amen. We were together. Tulikuwa pamoja. Before the foundation of the world. I saw you saying amen. I saw amina. you praising God. Niliwaona mkimtukuza Mungu. The ones that are not here. Wale ambao hawapo hapa. We're not here. Hawakuepo hapa. So don't be worried. Kwa hiyo usihusu. About so and so is not here. Oh, wanze kusema oh, fulani na fulani na fulani hawapo hapa. When the picture was taken. Wakati picha ilipopigwa. They were not there. Hawakuepo. Well, maybe they are going to come later. Labda watakuja baadaye. Not a problem. Eh yeah, haina shida. But for today. Lakini kwa leo. We are in the picture. Sisi ndio tulioko kwenye picha. Amen. Amen. So brother Branham says Kwa hivyo ndugu Branham anasema In the message um Kwenye ujumbe in the message God hiding himself in simplicity Mungu akijificha mwenyewe katika urahisi and then revealing himself in the same Kisha akujifunua yeye mwenyewe katika namna hiyo hiyo Praise the Lord Eh uh, bwana asifiwe He says now my wife can tell you many times Asema mke wangu anaweza kuambia ni mara nyingi The rest of the brethren who are associated when God just speaks I walk along thinking nothing about it. Uh, go slowly. Uh, uh, the, uh, it says uh, the rest of the brethren who are associated. Hao ndugu wengine ambao wanahusika. He says when God speaks. Wakati Mungu ananena. I will walk along thinking nothing about it. Ningeweza kutembea peke yangu nikiwa siwazi chochote kuyahusu. Or sitting in the room. Au nimeketi katika chumba. And all of a sudden na ghafla tu He will take me down. Atanichukua, nishushe chini. He says like here some time ago. Kama hivi muda fulani uliopita. you might have noticed in the paper at Denver, Colorado. Inawezekana hamkuona hilo gazeti huko Denver, Colorado. They never did know what happened. Hawakujua kile kilichotukia. The Lord had sent me over there. Mungu alikuwa ameniweka kule juu. He showed me a place. Akanionyesha mahali. He said now there's a place where there will be a car parked in the way. Akaniambia sasa kutakuwa na mahali fulani ambapo kutakuwa na sehemu ya kuegeshea magari. So that's the Jiani. picture. He's seeing the picture. Sasa anaona picha. He says in a vision. Asema katika ono. He said it's a gray car. Ilikuwa ni gari kuu. You'll be going down to the street this way. Utakuwa ukielekea eh, katika barabarani upande huu. And there is a white house. Na kutakuwa na nyumba nyeupe. Then you look in behind that na utaangalia nyuma kule kisha there is a gate that opens kuna mla, e, lango ambalo litafunguliwa and there is a hole that is laying down right behind the gate na kisha kuna shimo ambalo liko nyuma ya hilo lango and he said there will be a man come out and get in a car parking na, a, picking a briefcase na kutakuwa na mtu ambaye atatoka katika hiyo sehemu ya kuegeshea magari akiwa amebeba e, mkoba fulani sanduku briefcase he got at the door na kisha ataushika mlango and said there you do there will be a woman weeping na hapo wakati hayo atakapotukia kutakuwa na mwanamke ambaye atakuwa akiomboleza and when you go in na utakapoingia ndani lay your head on the bed sasa weka kofia yako juu ya kitanda and then they will pick it up ndipo wataiokota kofia yako and lay it over here on a television wataichukua hiyo kofia yako wataiweka juu ya television and there will be another lady come in with a red sweater na kisha kuna mwanamke mwingine ambaye ataingia ndani akiwa amevaa sweater jekundu and sit down here na ataketi hapa chini Then go lay your hands on this sick baby. Sasa nenda hayo atakapotukia nenda na uweke mikono yako juu ya huyu mtoto mgonjwa. And say that says the Lord. Na useme hivi asema Bwana. See I knew what it was. Unajua nilijua kile kilichokuwa. And when he showed me a man coming down. Kwa hivyo alivyonionyesha yule mwanaume anaakija. And I seen a clock. Na nikaangalia saa and i heard something squeak 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 nikasikia kitu fulani kikipiga kelele kwa kwa kiki kiki kikipiga piga kelele kidogo and i looked 
Nani katazama? And there was a man coming in a wheelchair. Na kuna mtu alikuwa akiletwa katika eh, kiti cha magurudumu. And that's the one the papers wrote up. Na huyo ndiye yule ambaye magazeti yalimwandika. In a wheelchair holding the Bible crying. Ambaye alikuwa katika kile kiti cha wagonjwa cha magurudumu he, akiwa ameinua Biblia akilia. He said walk out to him. Uh, alisema mtembele mfuate and speak with him. Na unene naye and tell him to raise up na umwambie ainuke and said you will notice that the clock uh, it will be just 10 minutes before 3 na utaona ya kwamba kwenye saa yako itakuwa ni da, ni saa saa tisa, kasoro dakika kumi. and i got up set about out of the vision na kisha nikatoka ndani ya hilo ono and about two or three days after that na siku mbili au tatu baada ya hilo Telegrams came from everywhere. Nikatumiwa taarifa za Telegram kutoka kila mahali. Come and pray for this one. Jo muombe huyu. Everywhere. Kila mahali. You know after a while I picked up one and it said. Na unajua baada ya kitambo nikachukua moja na nikasema. Come to Denver. Nika, ambayo ilikuwa inasema ile ule mialiko mmoja alikuwa anasema Jo Denver. With TB is dying. Na kuna mtu anakufa na TB. Come at once. Njo haraka. Something said to me go. Kitu fulani kikaniambia nenda. I didn't know where the vision was going to be. Sikujua hilo ono lingekuwa wapi. I went off the plane and got a cab. Nikatoka nje ya ndege na nikakodi taksi. And went to this address and prayed for the man. Na nikaenda kwenye sehemu hiyo na kumwombea kwa ajili ya kumwombea huyo mtu. I never did hear what happened. Sikusikia kile kilichotukia. So it was a little time before the plane was going to leave. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni muda mchache kabla ya ndege kuondoka. So I thought instead of calling the cab. Sasa nikawaza badala ya kuita taxi. I'll just walk downtown. Bora tu nitembee mjini mwenyewe kwa miguu. I and I won't even think about that vision or nothing. Hata sikuwazia kuhusu lile ono. I just know it was going to happen. Nilijua tu ya kwamba litatukia. I started walking down the street. Nikaanza kutembea barabarani. Walking along like that and all at once I heard somebody say, "Well, goodbye doctor." Nikitembea tu moja kwa moja na bila kujua lakini nikasikia mtu fulani akisema karibu daktari and looked around and there came a man packing a briefcase na nikatazama huku na huku nikaona mtu akija amebeba briefcase walking down a step na akishuka katika ngazi and i thought na nikawaza i have seen that man somewhere nikasema nimemwona mtu huyu mahali isn't that strange je hili sio jambo geni jambo la kushangaza are you seeing now naona sasa the vision he has seen ono alilokuwa ameona it's now playing out before him sasa linachezwa lina, lina mbele yake so he says i've seen this man before sema nilimuona mtu huyu kabla and i looked here set a little gray ford sitting on the side of the street na nikatazama hapa a gray what a gray ford ka uh, uh, kuna gari fulani uh, ford aina ya ford nye, ya rangi ya, ya kijivujivu ilikuwa imepaki hapa i said that's the vision nikasema hili ndio lile ono and he come out na akatoka I walked on up nikatembea kupanda juu I said how do you do nikasema hujambo He said how do you do sir akasema wewe hujambo bwana He got in the car and drove away akachukua gari akaondoka zake I ran over this street and looked down nikakimbia kwenye hizi barabara na kutazama huko chini They laid that wall that I saw in the vision nikaona lile shimo ambalo niliona katika ono I said this is it nikasema hili nalo hapa I went right on up the steps nikaendelea moja kwa moja kupanda zile ngazi I knocked at the door nikagonga mlangoni A lady came steps and she she was weeping mwanamke akatoka ndani akiwa analia just like he saw in the vision vile vile kama nilivyoona katika ono and i said you have a sick baby nikamwambia yule mwanamke wewe una mtoto mgonjwa to you lady wewe wewe sivyo sivyo wewe mwanamke she said yes sir akasema ndio bwana she said are you a doctor akasema wewe ni daktari i said no ma'am nikamwambia sivyo mama i said i'm a minister mimi ni mhudumu She said, "Oh yes sir." Mimi ni mhubiri akasema ndio bwana. I said my name is Branham. I am Reverend Branham. Nikasema mimi jina langu ni Branham. Mimi ni Kasisi Branham. She said, "I don't believe I know you Mr. Branham." 
Akasema siamini kwamba nakufahamu bwana Branham. I said no I'm a stranger. Akamwambia hapana mimi ni mgeni. Could I see your baby a minute? Naweza nikamuona mtoto wako mara dakika moja. She said yes sir. Akasema sawa bwana. I said thank you. Nikasema asante. I stepped in I said Nikaingia ndani. I asked her what was the matter. Nikauliza tatizo lilikuwa ni nini. It had congested lungs with pneumonia. Alikuwa eh, uh, ma, 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 mapafu yake yamejaa yamejaa na pneumonia. A little bit fellow laying there. Huyo kijana jamaa mdogo akiwa amelala pale. And I thought nikawazia. I looked down in the room just laid my head. Nikaingia tu ndani ya chumba down on the bed. Nikachukua kofia yangu nikaiweka kitandani. But the lead went over and sat down. Sasa yule uh, mwanamke akaenda akaketi. So that's the, there's a problem now. Sasa hapo kuna tatizo. The, the, the man with the Ford 100%. Yule mtu ambaye alikuwa na lile gari aina ya Ford asilimia 100. The hole is in the yard. Lile shimo ambalo lilikuwa kwenye ule uwanja. The woman comes to the na, door she's mwa, crying. Mwanamke akitoka kwenye mlango huko akilia. Everything according to the vision. Sawa sawa naona. And then the baby is in the house. Sasa na kwamba mtoto yumo ndani ya hiyo nyumba. Brother Branham takes off his head, puts Nugugana it on the bed. Anatoa ana kofia yake, anaweka kwenye kitanda. But he was told you are not supposed to say that says the Lord. Lakini aliambiwa kwamba usiseme Bwana asema hivi until the picture is complete. Mpaka picha ikamilike. Someone must come and take the head from the bed. Mtu fulani anapaswa lazima aje achukue ile kofia kutoka kitandani. And put it on the TV. Aiweke juu ya TV. And then there's supposed to be another lady that comes Alafu in. Alafu kuwe na mwanamke mwingine anayeingia. And sits together with this sister. Na aketi pamoja na huyu mtu. Only when the picture is complete. Ni pale tu ambapo picha imeshakamilika. You rise up and go to the baby. Sasa inuka na umfuate yule mtoto. And say that says. Na useme bwana asema hivi. So brother Branham has left the head. Kwa hiyo ndugu Branham akaacha ile kofia kitandani pale. On the bed. Pale kitandani. And the woman na yule mwanamke didn't pick it up. Hakuiokota. She goes to sit down. Akaenda akaketi. Brother Branham. Ndugu Branham cannot tell that woman Hawezi kumwambia huyo mwanamke to say take the head kumwambia chukua hiyo kofia and put it on the tv uiweke juu ya tv he must not help hawezi kujiepusha the vision hawezi kuepukana na hilo ono that's why you and me are not a prophet ndio sababu wewe na mimi si manabii because if it was you and me kwa sababu ingekuwa wewe na mimi would say sister i want to catch my aeroplane okay. take the head okay. put okay. it on the tv Dada mimi nataka kuwahi ndege chukua hiyo kofia iweke kwenye TV tumalize mambo He never said I'm a prophet Hakusema zaidi ya nabii He says I'm Mr Branham Reverend Hakusema Branham Mimi ni nabii alisema mimi ni kasisi Branham Only that Hilo tu So he's sitting there Kwa hivyo ameketi pale I want you to watch Nataka muone <laughs> He says I just keep talking to her Akasema nikaendelea tu kuongea naye I never asked her prayer Siku... or nothing Sikumwambia tuombe wala nini And your baby how old is it brother na, wala is kum, na okay na mkumuliza mtoto wako ana umri gani and how long you lived here eh umeishi hapa kwa muda gani and so forth like that hayo ndio alikuwa mazungumzo na mambo kama hayo and we got talking eh tukaendelea kuongea well she got up wakati alipoinuka and caught my head akaokota kofia yangu after a while baada ya muda and went over the side of the bed wakati anaenda upande huu wa kitanda she got my head and laid it on the television akachukua eh, kofia yangu akaiweka juu ya television but the other lady lakini yule mwanamke mwingine was and there with the red sweater bado on. alikuwa hajaingia akiwa amevaa sweta jekundu so so sometimes you know kwa hivyo wakati mwingine unajua this church is gonna fill up ili kanisa litajaa 100% asilimia 100% But God will be waiting for someone. Lakini Mungu atakuwa anamngojea mtu mmoja aje and to sit at a certain chair. Aketi kwenye kiti fulani in a certain service katika ibada fulani and receive the message. Afu apokee ujumbe. When they do that, wakati wanapofanya hivyo everything else kila kitu kingine will come to place and maybe you have been testifying to that person for a long time inawezekana huyo mtu umekuwa ukimshuhudia kwa muda mrefu you cannot force them to come and sit there huwezi kuwalazimisha waje wakae pale the vision is for an appointed time ono ni kwa wakati uliokubalika but at the end lakini mwishoni it shall speak ilitajinenea ono so you can't 
declare it until it has happened exactly like Kwa hivyo huwezi kulitangaza ono mpaka litokee kama vile vile. And also na ndipo sometimes maybe there is someone here wakati mwingine alisema kuna mtu fulani hapa that is supposed to leave ambaye anapaswa aondoke. So don't hold on to people brother Patrick. Kwa hivyo if someone wants to go usianze kumvuta ndugu brother Patrick. Useme kuna mtu anataka kuondoka. Mtu anataka kuondoka usimvute vute. Sema kwa heri kwa sababu kwenye ono. Mm. Paul says they left us. Paulo anasema waliondoka wali wali kwetu. They were not of us. Kwa sababu hawakuwa wa, wa kwetu. Brother sister we can't force you into the vision. Ndugu dada hatuwezi kukulazimisha uingie kwenye ono. Hey. <laughs> I have noticed in Benoni. Nimeona kule Benoni kule when kanisani pe- kwake. When people leave, wakati watu wanapoondoka kanisani, the church becomes more full. Kanisa linajaa zaidi. Because these ones were the ones who were stopping the others from coming. Kwa sababu hawa waliokuwa humo ndio hasa walikuwa nazuia wengine wasi. Because they were not a part of the vision. Kwa sababu hawakuwa sehemu ya ono. You can't sit in church with a disgruntled heart. Huwezi kukaa kanisani na moyo ambao ni moyo mbaya yani moyo ambao au uh, saa zote umenyongonyea leave that church achana na hilo kanisa if you are in a pentecostal church or something kama uko kwenye kanisa la kipentecoste and you see that these people are not doing what the word says na unaona watu hao wafanyi kile ambacho neno linasema you are not part of that vision wewe sio sehemu ya hilo ono la hapo you are trying to stand in a picture of soldiers when you are a policeman unajaribu kusimama kwenye ono la la wanajeshi wanajeshi wa kupigana vita wakati we ni polisi wa kushika vibaka to where the police are standing Kinaenda kasimame na mapolisi wenzako <laughs> You know there was an eagle Unajua kulikuwa na tai that that had two eggs ambaye alikuwa na mayai mawili And one of the eggs fell on the ground Na moja ya yale mayai likaanguka chini And the farmer picked it up Sasa mkulima akaliokota And the farmer put it under the chicken Na mkulima yule akalipeleka akaliweka chini ya kuku Because the chicken had some eggs Kwa sababu kuku alikuwa na yeye na mayai But this egg was not a chicken Lakini hili yai halikuwa ya la After some time Baada ya muda It was hatched not as a chicken Lika likatotolewa lakini alikutotolewa kama kuku It was hatched as an eagle Kwenye kutotolewa akatotolewa tai Now the eagle knew it had two eggs. Sasa tai alijua kwamba alikuwa na mayai mawili. So it gave it it, it hatched the other one that Baibu, was left. Tai kule naye akatotoa lile moja. But it was worried about the other one that was lost. Lakini lost. alikuwa na na, na wasiwasi na ile yai lake la pili alikuwa And after lose. some time baada ya kitambo it knew that if something happened that egg must have hatched down. Akasema akahisi kwamba kuna kitu fulani kipo kwa sababu nahisi lile yai limetotolewa mahali fulani huko chini it started flying around akaanza kuruka to look for that egg kutafuta yai lake but it was no longer an egg it was now an eagle sasa haikuwa yai tena ilikuwa ni kifaranga so it was going kwa kwa hivyo akaanza kufanya kwa tu mwanza mwanza kwa dar es salaam kwa dar es salaam kwa south africa kwa africa kusini it's only it's not looking for chickens Hatafuti kuku. It's looking for that eaglet. Anatafuta yule kifaranga wa tai. Are you hearing me? Ah, But this eaglet was in another church. Lakini huyu kifaranga alikuwa kwenye kanisa jingine. It was in a church of chickens. Alikuwa kwenye kanisa la kuku. Where they do this to the scripture. Ambako maandiko yote wanafanyia hivi. When the scripture says we are not supposed to preach. Maandiko yakisema, sikiza. Maandiko yakisema wanawake hawapaswi kusimama mimbarani kuhubiri. The chickens will do this. Kuku wanaparura. And then they make women preach. Wanaweka wanawake wa When the scripture says you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Wakati maandiko yanasema unapaswa ubatizwe katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Chickens do this. Kuku anakuangua na And one day. Lakini siku moja. Mama eagle. Yule mama tai. Came flying over that year. Akaja akapita juu hapo. And it was preaching the message of completing the picture. Akahubiri somo la kuikamilisha picha. Hallelujah. And when mama Iku came and did that. Na wakati mama yule mama Tai alipokuja na kufanya hiyo. When the chicken saw the shadow. Wale kuku wali, kuku walipoona kile kivuli. They just saw the shadow of the of the of the of the eagle. Wao wakaona kivuli cha cha Tai. Do you know that chickens are afraid of shadows? Unajua ya kwamba kuku wanaogopa vivuli? <laughs> Kumbe a chicken 
mbuku even if it's a plastic bag that is flying hata kama ni mfuko wa karatasi wa nailoni unaruka the chicken will run kuku akiona kivuli chake it will not even lift up its head to see whether it's a, it's a real thing or it's a plastic yani bag kuku ana hata muda wa kutafakari kwamba hivi ni kunguru au ni kitu gani the old testament is a shadow of the new testament agano la kale ni kivuli cha agano jipya so the book of daniel is just a shadow kwa hiyo kitabu cha danieli ni kivuli tu and the chicken will not even go to the book of daniel na kuku hata hata enda kwenye kitabu cha Daniel. It's so scared of the shadow. Kwa sababu kuku How much more of the book of Revelation? Kuku anaogopa mno vivuli. How much more of the book of Revelation? Sasa vipi te, vipi kuhusu kitabu cha ufunuo? So when mama Iku came there. Kwa hiyo mama Tai alipokuja pale. Everything ran under the fire run. Vifaranga na kuku wote wakaingia chini ya, ya, ya But the ya, little ya, eaglet. Lakini yule Tai mdogo. Said this is for me. Akasema hii huu jumbe ni wangu. That is my mama. Huyu ni mama yangu. Amen. When everyone rejected this message. Wakati kila mtu anaukataa ujumbe huu. You accepted it. Wewe uliupokea. Because you were a part of it. Kwa sababu it. wewe ulikuwa ndani ya ile picha. Hallelujah. Amen. In the denominations. Katika madhehebu. They are preaching prosperity. Wanahubiri mafanikio. To say if you believe you will get rich. Ukiamini utatajirika. If you believe you own a house. Ukiamini utapata nyumba. And the pastor's shoe is finished under here. Wakati viatu vya mchungaji wenyewe vimeisha. You are lying to us you. Unatudanganya. Your shoe is finished here. Wewe mwenyewe viatu vimeliko. You are here to steal our money. Wewe unataka kutuibia hela zetu. Your, your gospel is all about money. Kwa sababu mafanikio yote kila kitu mnazungumzia. We were told yesterday when God calls a man. Tuliwaambia tuliambiwa jana kwamba Mungu anapomuita mtu. He pays him in advance. Anamlipa kabisa kabisa kwa. But you we can see you are broke who Lakin, called you. Nyie tunawaona kwamba umefilisika nani aliyewaita. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amini. And then when an eagle comes. Sasa yule tai anapokuja. He says I'm not promising you money. Anasema mimi siwaahidi pesa. I promise you a body change. Na waahidi kubadiliko la mwili. I'm not promising you houses. Siwaahidi majumba. There is another house. Kuna nyumba nyingine. In the other dimension. Katika kiwango kingine. When this earthly tabernacle. Wakati maskani hii ya duniani it is over. Ikitakapoharibiwa. We have got another one waiting. Nyingine. It can now in the heavens. Tuna nyingine inatuboja kuna kiunguni. Yesu alisema, In my father's house. Alisema nyumbani mwa baba yangu. Are many mansions. Kuna majumba mengi ya kifalme. He, he was not talking about houses made Hakuwa of mortar. Hakuwa kizungumzia nyumba za kawaida. He was talking about the orphan bodies. Alikuwa kizungumzia kuhusu nyumba za kithiofania. Celestial bodies. Kwa hiyo mili yetu, heavenly bodies. Tutaacha mili yetu tutachukua mili ya kimbi. That is our promise. Hiyo ndio ahadi yetu. Can you say amen? Unaweza ukasema amina. So she accepted the message. Kwa hivyo akapokea ujumbe. Because she was already an eagle. Kwa sababu tayari alikuwa ni tai. Did you hear that? Melisikia hilo? She did not become an eagle when she accepted the message. Aha aha. Alipokea ujumbe kwa sababu yeye tayari alikuwa tai. Hakupokea ujumbe ili ujumbe umfanye kuwa tai. The, the prophet says, Nabii anasema, you don't become a son of God. Huyu mwana wa Mungu, the day you receive the Holy Ghost. Siku unayopokea Roho Mtakatifu. It's because you were a son. Ni kwa sababu wewe ulikuwa mwana tayari. Therefore you could be reborn. Ndio sababu unazaliwa tena. You cannot be born again. Huwezi kuzaliwa mara ya pili. If you were not there. Kama hukuwepo. And that's my message. Na huo ndio ujumbe wangu. always we are not looking for supporters. Hatutafuti watu wa kuja kutuunga mkono. We are only looking for those that were there. Tunatafuta wale waliokuepo tayari. <laughs> you know if let's say the government is going to have a meeting in America Tuseme kwa mfano serikali wataenda kuwa na mkutano kule Marekani. So the president will choose five men. Kwa hivyo rais anachagua watu wanaume watano au watu watano. To go with him. Waende naye. And when they arrive there. Na wakati wanapofika pale. The bookings there are for five men. E, ile booking ile tiketi zao zitakuwa za watu watano. Nafasi ni ya watu watano. Everything is five men. Kila kitu kitakacholipiwa ni cha watu watano. Even if you look at them hata ukiwaangalia and you love the president na unampenda na uh, rais na wewe unavaa suti yako and join them na ujiunge nao and start walking with them 
na uanze kuongozana nao when you get there utakapofika pale they are going to ask the president wataanza kumuuliza wataenda kumuuliza rais how many delegates do you have je una watu wangapi ulioambatana nao you just say this one this one this one huyu na huyu na huyu even if you raise your hands hata ukiinua mkono it will not make you a delegate haita haita kufanya wewe uwe mwambata that's the same thing with this message hiyo ndio ndio siri ya ujumbe you can pay your tithes unaweza ukalipa zaka you can come to church unaweza kuja kanisani if you are not a part of it kama wewe sio sehemu yake you are not going to enter huingi and if you also don't pay your tithes na hata kama hulipi zaka zako and you don't come to church na huji kanisani it already shows you are not part of it yani hiyo ndio inaonyesha moja kwa moja wewe sio <laughs> Uh, amen. So it already shows those that are a part of it. <laughs> so let's continue reading. Hebu tuendelee kusoma. So he says, kwaya alisema, the lady with the red sweater on wasn't there. Sasa huyu mwanamke mwenye sweta jekundu aliyevalia sweta jekundu alikuwa bado hajafika. I can't pray, see? Siwezi kuomba, unaona? He isn't there yet. Hayupo bado. So then I kept talking. Kwa hivyo niliendelea kuongea. Sit down again. Nika keti chini tena. So here is a stranger in your house. Sasa hapa kaja mgeni nyumbani kwako. He keeps talking to you now you are wondering. Ah, anaendelea kuongea tu na wewe unashangaa. What is he here for? Sasa yuko hapa anatafuta nini hapa? He has got a picture. Ana picha. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And when he says and after a while. Na nikasema. Nika, Baada ya kitambo. The lady came in yule mwanamke akaingia and sat down akageti chini another lady came in na mwanamke mwingine akaingia which had been out in the other room ambaye alikuwa nje huko kwenye chumba kingine came in and sat down akaingia naye akageti chini with the red sweater on akiwa amevaa sweta jekundu the, the lady with the brown coat on got up na kisha mwanamke yule mwingine ambaye alikuwa amevaa koti la rangi ya udhurungi akainuka and went out akatoka nje So initially they were sitting together Sasa mwanzoni walikuwa wameketi pamoja Brother Branham is about to say that's the Lord Anataka aseme bwana aseme hii aseme hivi That the one stood up Wa yule waliokuwa wameketi mmoja akatoka He says and got out of their place Akaondoka ma It says and got out of their place It says it stand as and they all okay Another lady came in and had been out in the room Eh mwanamke mwingine akaingia ambaye alikuwa huko nje kwenye chumba fulani and the lady with the brown coat on na mwanamke yule mwingine ambaye alikuwa amevaa koti la udhurungi akainuka akatoka I can't say nothing here Siwezi kusema chochote bado I just wait there now Na ngoja bado pale And when they all got sitting together Lakini wakati wote walipoketi pamoja Just right Sasa then I say kabisa ndipo nikasema Stand up nikasema simameni just a minute simameni kwa dakika moja i walked over to the baby nikaenda moja kwa moja kwa yule mtoto i said you know me nikasema unanifahamu strangely ki katika namna ambayo sio ya kawaida the lord bwana sema hivi the baby is healed mtoto ameponywa the little baby turned over yule mtoto mdogo akajigeuza and began calling his mother akaanza kumuita mama yake that is it hilo ndilo God waits for something to happen first. Mungu anangojea jambo fulani litukie kwanza. For the picture to be complete. Ili picha ipate kukamilika. Maybe I'm the one that has come to preach your healing. Inawezekana mimi ndiye niliyekuja kuhubiri kwa ajili ya uponyaji wako. God was waiting for a minister from South Africa. Mungu labda alikuwa anangoja muhubiri kutoka Afrika ya Kusini. To come and preach aje ahubiri and then you get your breakthrough ili uweze kupenya the breakthrough cannot come to pass penyo wako hauwezi kutimia until you paka wewe are sitting there uwe umeketi pale and i am sitting here na mimi nimekaa hapa i preach na nihubiri and you say amen na useme amina you remember mr anderson Unamkumbuka ndugu Anderson? Brother Branham is preaching. Ndugu Branham anahubiri. The vision was perfect. Na ono lilikuwa kamilifu. And Brother Branham says, hey, "Mr. Anderson." Na ndugu Branham anasema, "Ndugu Anderson." The pillar of fire is upon you. Nguzo ya moto iko juu yako. And Mr. Anderson just said. Ndugu Anderson akatikisa kichu. And then Mr. Anderson you have missed it. Akasema, "Ndugu Anderson, umelikosa." It has gone to Sister Veronica. 
akaenda lika, ile nguzo ya moto ikaenda kwa dada Veronica he says because you didn't respond ikasema kwa sababu wewe haukuitikia you were part of the vision wewe ulikuwa sehemu ya lile but in the vision you were saying amen kwenye ono ulionekana ukisema but when you remained quiet lakini uliponyamaza kimya you missed it umelikosa amen 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 so he says kwa hiyo anasema and i got out of their place nikaondoka uh, mahali pao and went down and started walking down nikashuka yani nikatoka pale kwao nikashuka nikaanza kutembea says i'll get me a cab right quick nikasema wataniletea kofia yangu haraka and i ran into nikasema, somebody nikasema sorry nikasema nileteni kofia yangu haraka uh, I, i ran into somebody there nikakimbia kimbilia mtu fulani pale and i thought well i wonder where i could catch a cab here on this corner nikasema nashangaa kama naweza nikapata taxi hapa sahi mahali hapa i was trying to catch a cab to get out of get to the airport nilikuwa najaribu nipate taxi nikimbie airport because my plane was about ready to leave ndege yangu ilikuwa karibu iondoke and i was trying to hail a cab like that na nilikuwa nikijaribu kupungia taxi namna hiyo i stepped back nikarudi nyuma Uh, in the side of a 10 cent store there nikaingia kwenye duka la reja reja mahali fulani surely a cab come by in a minute ndipo uh, kweli kwa hakika uh, taxi ikaja pale katika dakika moja and i thought it, it uh, right across me there was a clock na uh, nikatazama upande wa uh, huku uh, kuliko there was a clock, was a clock kulikuwa yeah. na saa upande moja kulikuwa na saa uh, why sure it's just a few minutes here to come uh, And here come the squeaking of the wheelchair. Aha. Na ndipo nikagundua kwamba ilikuwa ni muda mfupi dakika chache kabla na hapo ikaja eh, baiskeli ya magurudumu iki, ikitoa mlio ule chui 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 kama squeaking. The other vision now. Ono jingine sasa. The other picture. Eh picha nyingine. And there was the man with the, with his bible in the hand na hapo kulikuwa na mtu akiwa na biblia yake mkononi mwake just 10 minutes to 3 yani dakika eh, kumi tu kabla ya saa tisa. at perfect kamilifu kabisa walked out there and said do you believe that book you are reading nikaenda moja kwa moja na kumwambia unakiamini hicho kitabu unachosoma he said yes sir, i do akasema ndio 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 bwana nakiamini i said in there holds the words of eternal life nikasema humo hicho kinabeba uh, maneno ya, u, ya uzima wa milele. Yes sir, I believe that. Akasema ndio naamini hivyo. I said did you ever read in there where Jesus heals the sick? Nikamwambia umeshai kusoma humo mahali ambapo Yesu aliponya wagonjwa? He said yes sir. Akasema ndio bwana. I said do you believe that? Nikamuuliza unaamini hilo? He said yes I do. Akasema ndio naamini. I said in the name of the Lord Jesus Nikasema, Christ. Akasema katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Stand up. Simama. For thus saith the Lord. Kwa kuwa Bwana asema hivi. You are healed. Umeponywa. And he said you mean I can get up now? Akamuuliza, unamaanisha kwamba naweza nika, nikasimama sasa? I said get up. Nikasema inuka. And the nurse was pushing him. Na nesi alikuwa akimsukuma. She said he can't get up. Nesi akasema, "Ah, huyu hawezi kusimama." I said rise up. Nikasema say, nyanyuka bwana. Take my word. Chukua neno langu. He, he said, "How who are you?" Akamuliza wewe ni nani? I said that doesn't matter. Kambia hilo alijalishi. Raise up. Wewe inuka. He said look here Ness. Akasema Ness hebu angalia. And he started running. Akainuka akaanza kukimbia. Are you hearing me? He, he started running. Akaanza kukimbia. What was it? Ilikuwa ni nini? It was the complete picture. Ilikuwa ni picha kamilifu. When the picture was completed. Wakati picha ilipokamilishwa. Brother, Brother Branham could say that said the Lord. Ndugu Branham angeweza kusema Bwana asema hivi. Brother Branham says. Ndugu Branham anasema. The word is in the bride. Neno liko ndani ya bibi harusi. As it was in Mary. Kama lilivyokuwa ndani ya Mariam. She has thus said the Lord huyo, with her. Huyo bibi harusi ana Bwana asema hivi. That means we are at the end of the picture. Inamaanisha kwamba tuko mwisho wa, wa, wa ile picha. We are at the end of the vision. Tuko mwishoni mwa lile ono. And at the end. Na mwishoni. The vision must speak. Ono lazima lijinenee. That said the Lord. Bwana sema hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not blaspheming when we say that says the Lord. Na sio kukufuru wewe we kusema kusema Bwana sema hivi. Kwa sababu tuna Bwana asema hivi. Yes. Ndio. The bride is Hibiaru? the final voice. 
Bibi harusi ni sauti ya mwisho to the final church age. Kwa wakati wa mwisho wa kanisa. The most powerful people in Mwanza. Watu wenye nguvu kuliko wote hapa Mwanza. Are sitting here. Wameketi hapa. Are you hearing me? Mnanisikia? The, the fish of Lake Victoria. Hao samaki wa ziwa Victoria. Are controlled here. Wanaongozwa na nini hapa? Ninyi ndio mlao wa We can pull the fish to the shore. Tunaweza tukavuta samaki wote wakaja huku mfukweni. And say cast your net to the other side. Alafu tuseme haya, endeleke nyavu zenu. We have the power. Tuna nguvu to bind. Kufunga. We have the power. Tuna nguvu to loose. Ya kufungua. The Bible says Elijah was a man of like passions unto us. Biblia inasema Elia alikuwa ni mtu wa tabia kama sisi. He prayed that it should not rain. Akaomba kwamba mvua isinyeshe. And it didn't rain. Na haikunyesha. And when he prayed that it should rain, na wakati alipoomba inyeshe, it rained. Ilinyesha. You have the same power. Wewe una nguvu zile zile. The only difference tofauti tu is you are higher than Elijah. Ni kwamba wewe uko juu zaidi ya Elijah. You don't need to pray. Wewe uhitajiki kuomba. You need to speak. Wewe unatakiwa unene. You can speak. Wewe waweza kunena. And say it shall not rain. Na useme haitanyesha. Brother Branham says. Ndugu Branham anasema. We are coming into a time. Itafika wakati. Where a brother. Ambapo ndugu. We go to another brother. Atamtembelea ndugu mwingine. And say brother. Namwambia ndugu. I give you rain. Ninakupa mvua. The, the, the deacon in our church. Eh, sasa shemasi kule kanisani kwao Benoni. I was preaching like this on a Wednesday. Nilikuwa nikihubiri namna hii siku ya Jumatano. They live in the plots. Ah na walikuwa they plots you know plots they they live in the plots wanaishi katika uh, katika viwa, kiwanja so in the plots people farm they do farming na, katika hiyo uh, hiyo maeneo yao wanayoishi watu wanalima so they put seed in the ground sasa walikuwa wamepanda mbegu ardhini and it was raining everywhere else na ilikuwa ikinyesha kila mahali mvua and i said we are living in the time i read the quotation sasa akasema tunaishi katika wakati wa ile i said we a brother ambapo uh, inasema wakati ndugu who say to another brother atamwambia ndugu mwingine i give you rain nakupa mvua so i looked at the sister she's called sister receive sasa nikamtazama yule dada nikamwambia dada pokea i said sister receive anaitwa dada pokea i give you rain her name is sister receive yeah jina lake yeye mwenyewe anaitwa dada pokea yeah so nikamwambia dada pokea pokea ah yeah i said sister receive receive dada pokea pokea rain in your plot mvua katika shamba lako I didn't know that it was raining everywhere else Sikujua kwamba inanyesha kwingine kote But at their plot it was not raining Lakini kwenye eneo lao shamba lao ilikuwa inyesha After service baada ya ibada They got in the car wakaingia ndani ya gari They drove wakaendesha While they are getting to the plot Wakati wanafika kwenye shamba lao It started raining Ikaanza kunyesha It was not raining everywhere else Ilikuwa inyeshi sasa sasa When When they got to their plot Ilikuwa inyeshi kwingine lakini walipofika kwenye shamba lao It started raining there Ilikuwa ikaanza kunyesha pale In the mornings the sister called me Asubuhi dada akanipigia She said pastor Akasema mchungaji Yesterday Jana there was dead pool rain on the plot Kulikuwa na mvua ya mvuto wa tatu shambani kwetu I said what, what do you mean Nikamuuliza una maana She said we looked at the other plots Akasema tumeangalia mashamba mengine It looks like it didn't rain there Inaonekana haya kunyeshewa It only rained on our plot Inyesha shambani kwetu tu So I am saying Kwa hivyo ninasema There are certain rains Kuna baadhi ya mvua That fall because it's the season Kwa sababu zinanyesha kwa sababu ni msimu But there are certain Sorry. rains kuna mvua ambazo zinanyesha kwa sababu ni msimu wa mvua. Mm. Lakini kuna aina nyingine ya mvua. That fall because we have said so. Ambazo zinanena kwa zinanyesha kwa sababu tumeziambia zinyeshe. Mai mai mai. I want that to sink. Na nataka hilo lizame. There are certain babies that come because it's the season hey, of that baby. Hey, hey, hey. Nataka hilo lizame. Kuna baadhi ya watoto anakuja kwa sababu ni msimu wa kupata watoto. But there are certain babies Lakini kuna watoto wengine that comes by the spoken way. Ambao wanakuja kwa neno lililoelewa. We can say receive a baby. Naweza kusema pokea mtoto. And you receive a baby. Na unapokea mtoto. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unasikia kile ninachosema? Who am I? Mimi ni nani? I'm a part of the picture. Mimi ni sehemu ya ile picha. I'm a son of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Hebu nikwambie kitu fulani. There are certain squirrels. Kuna baadhi ya kindi that you, if you take their blood, 
wale wanyama wale ambao ukichukua damu yao you can trace them back to the squirrels that were created in genesis 1 yani, by god yani uh, hivyo viwanyama vidogo unaweza ukawachukua ukitoa damu alafu ukaenda kuichunguza hiyo damu utaona ya kwamba ina inatokana ina na wanyama wengine wa huko nyuma waliouumbwa tangu mwanzo edeni kule so you see that this squirrel kwa hiyo utajua ya kwamba huyu it started huyu kindi, in huyu mnyama kindi huyu it's the, it's the uh, huyu, great grand grandson ana babu zake na babu zake na babu zake of that one in eden kama babu zake mpaka kule edeni but there are also squirrels lakini pia kuna hao wanyama kindi wengine that were eaten in this generation ambao waliliwa katika kizazi hiki that if you were to test their blood ambao kama ungepima damu zao they had no relationship hawana uhusiano with the ones that were created in genesis na wale ambao waliumbwa edeni When hey. God created Adam, wakati Mungu alipomuumba Adam, he didn't create a baby. Hakuumba mtoto. When the prophet created squirrels, wakati nabii aliponena wale He didn't create wakati. baby squirrels. Hakuumba uh, uh, wale kindi vitoto. He created a matured creation. Waliumbwa ambao tayari wanafaa kula, wamekomaa. Other squirrels if you shoot them, na baadhi ya uh, kindi wengine aliwapiga risasi. You have to clean their intestines. Inabidi because they would have eaten grass and so on. But those squirrels lakini wale walikuwa wasafi hawana uchafu tumboni. Hey. Amen. This is not for chickens now. Hii sio kwa ajili ya kuku. If you are a chicken you will be like kama ni kuku wewe utakuwa tu. But if you are an eagle. Hii ni kwa ajili ya kuku. You say mama. Wanasema mama. Mama. I am coming to you. Na kufuata mama na kufuata. It's already in you. Tayari ipo ndani yako. It's already in you. Tayari iko ndani yako. How can I fly? Nawezaje kuruka? Flap your wings. Piga tu mbao. It's already in you. Mbao wazako tayari umeponywa. The rapture. Tayari umeponywa. The rapture. Unyakuo it's already in me. Tayari uko ndani yako. It's not going to come from somewhere else. Unyakuo hauji kutoka mahali. Hey 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 hey. Uh, Do you know that somebody? Unajua ya kwamba baadhi ya without wings can fly. Baadhi ya ndege bila mbao wanaweza kuruka. Hallelujah. One day we'll fly out of this earth. Siku moja tutaruka kutoka We will change dimensions. Tutabadilisha kiwango. The power is in us. Ndani nguvu iko ndani. We are eagles, brother. Sisi ni tai. This is the complete picture. Hii ni picha iliyokamilika. Sit a little bit. Hebu ketini kidogo. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's start getting the, the, the aeroplane to land. Sasa tayari eh tayari ndege inakaribia kutua. You see you are a good people to preach to. Mnajua ninyi ni watu wazuri sana kwa ujumla. Imagine I'm still on the first page. Yaani hebu wazieni ya kwamba kwenye notes zangu ndio bado kwanza niko kwenye ukurasa wa kwanza. So we can even close on the first page. Hata tunaweza kufungia hapo hapo kwenye ukurasa wa kwanza. And then I'll come tomorrow we preach second page. Kesho tu ndio tuingie ukurasa wa pili. <laughs> Daniel was told. Yo, uh, Daniel aliambiwa seal up those things. Tia muhuri mambo hayo. Until the time of the end. Paka wakati wa mwisho. Hey man. Who was at the end? Sasa, ni nani alikuwa kule wakati wa mwisho? It was you. Ilikuwa ni wewe. So God looked at Daniel. Kwa hiyo Mungu alimwangalia Daniel and said, "Ah, Daniel." Akasema, "Wewe Daniel, we want to look for somebody to go and preach in Mwanza." Wewe Daniel, ah uh, ah. Uh. Tunahitaji mtu mwingine aende akahubiri kule Mwanza. So they put Daniel there. Kwa hivyo wakamwambia Daniel ka hapo. They put Patrick there. Wakamwondoa waka, waka Daniel wakamketi wakamwambia nenda zako wakamweka Patrick hapo. On the scale. Kwe, kwe, kwenye mizani. Yaani wakamchukua Daniel wakamweka kwenye mizani upande huu na Patrick upande huu. Wanapimwa nani atafaa kuhubiri Mwanza. So 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 Patrick. Sasa Patrick was heavier than Daniel. Patrick aka, akawa mzito kuliko Daniel. And God says Daniel we baba. Mungu akasema haya Patrick wewe utaenda kuhubiri umekuwa mzito. <laughs> Daniel you 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 can't. Amen. Daniel Daniel you are small. Daniel wewe mdogo. You can't live in that generation. Uwezi kuishi kwenye kizazi kile. Seal up those things. Tia muhuri mambo hayo until the time of the end. Mpaka wakati wa mwisho. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Better ma- is the ma- end of a thing. Cha Ecclesiastic. Cha wanasema muhubiri sorry. Yeah. 
He says better is the end of a thing. bora mwisho wa jambo than the beginning there. Kuliko mwanzo wake. So the end is more important. Kwa hiyo mwisho ni muhimu zaidi than the beginning. Kuliko mwanzo. That's why the Bible says the glory of the latter house. Ndiyo sababu Biblia inasema kwamba utukufu wa mwisho shall be greater than the glory of the former. Utakuwa mkuu kuliko utukufu wa kwanza. So th- so the beginning is not important. Kwa hivyo mwanzo sio muhimu sana. Paul says I, I I have laid the foundation. Paul anasema nimeweka msingi. But you know let him that is building be careful. Lakini anasema hebu yule anayejenga na wewe makini. Because the important is the is the roof. Kwa sababu muhimu zaidi ni paa. A house a house you don't start building the roof. Nyumba huanzi na kujenga paa. You, you start with the foundation. Unaanza na msingi. That's the, that's the starting point. Hapo ndipo mahali pa kuanzia. But when it comes to the roof now. Lakini wakati napofika kwenye paa sasa. It needs a skilled man. Inahitaji mtu ambaye ana ame, ana mbinu, yani mtu aliye mwenye ujuzi. That's why we we had now a wise master builder. Ndio sababu sasa huku tunakuwa na mtu anayeitwa mjenzi mkuu mwenye hekima. So, so so in English wise WMB William Marion Branham. Sasa kwenye Biblia kuna neno wise master builder. Eh uh, w, w eh w, M. WMB yeah. ni wise master builder. Yeah. Which is William Marion. Ambao ni William Marion Branham. <laughs> hey man. And he comes He, he, he comes with a plummet in his hand. Na anakuja akiwa na na, na ile pima, ki, timanzi eh, mkononi mwake. So biriji mnaita biriji. Yeah, so, so that that, no, that I, instrument I, I, to measure. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is that one they put in the Yes. Like yeah, it's like, it's like a spirit level but it, you know ni, those ni, days. Ni kama it, ni kama eh, pima maji yeah. lakini yenyewe ni kabi kobiro eh. eh? Ni kobiro. Ah. Viswahili hivyo si vijui mimi si ofundise remani na fundi mjeje so it's, it it had a stone at the at the bottom yeah, ina kama jiwe kule chini and the stone had seven eyes Ni, kobiro na hilo kobiro ina macho saba and, and and that stone was to to measure na hilo jiwe lilikuwa kwa ajili ya kupima the building before the coming of the headstone kupima eh, kupima jengo kabla jiwe la kufunika alijaja samani kidogo huyu ni mchoraji wa ramani za majumba kwa hiyo anajua anachoongelea eh <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I heard what you said. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 he comes with it. Kwa hiyo anakuja na hiyo. But he doesn't just come with the, with the plummet in his hand. Lakini haji tu na hiyo kobiro mkononi mwake. He comes also with the blueprint of the building. Anakuja pia na ramani ya nyumba. So before he puts the roof. Kwa hiyo kabla hajaweka uh, paa. He has to measure the building. Lazima kwanza apime lile jengo. To see everything is it according to the measure Aone of the building. Aone kwamba kila kitu kimekaa sawa sawa na vipimo vya so, kule kwenye msingi. So, 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 but his, his, his mission is not to measure the building. Kwa hiyo uh, uh, wito wake au kusudi lake sio kupima jengo. His mission is to bring the roof. Lengo lake ni kuleta paa. To bring the capstone. Kuweka paa, kuweka jiwe la kifuniko. But the capstone cannot come. Lakini jiwe la kifuniko haiwezi kuja. If there is a problem with the building of the house. Kama kuna tatizo kwenye ujenzi so, wa hiyo nyumba. So he starts right there with what Paul said. Kwa hiyo anaanza moja kwa moja na kile Paulo alichosema. And measure whether Paul said the right thing or not. Apime kwamba Paulo alisema sawa sawa au la. measure the windows. Alafu apime madirisha. And measure here and say yeah 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 you didn't measure well here. Aseme hapa haya mkupima sawa sawa Women are not supposed to preach Wanawake hawapaswi kuwa kwenye Can you remove these bricks? Hebu ondoeni haya matofali. They are not supposed to be there. Matofali haya kike hayapaswi kuwa hapo. This is how a priest is supposed to marry. Hivi ndivyo matofali yanapaswa yao. This is how sisters are supposed to dress. Hivi ndivyo wadada wanawake wanapaswa wabaye. He is measuring the temple. Anapima jengo. Before he says. Kabla hajasema. I am preaching the opening of the seals. Nahubiri kufunuliwa kwa ile because the headstone has to come kwa sababu sasa eh, jiwe la kifuniko linapaswa kuja when the building is fitly joined together yani paa linapaswa lije wakati jengo limeshikamana vizuri that's why Kodoji. the message of the, the messenger hapo ndipo ambapo yule mjumbe comes to tie the loose ends anakuja kufunga zile sehemu zilizolegea he starts by tying the loose ends anaanza kufunga anaanza na kufunga zile sehemu zilizolegea when the loose ends have been tied then the capstone wakati sehemu zilizolegea zikishafungwa vizuri sasa pa just au jiwe la kichwa linaweza kuchukua just like elijah kama elia restores the altar first Alianza kwanza kurejesha ma- madhabahu. And then he says let the fire fall. Akasema sasa mvua na inyeshe. We don't start with the fire. Ma- 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 moto na ushuke. Yes. 
We have to start with rebuilding. Tunapaswa tuanze na kujenga upya. So the scripture that we read. Kwa hivyo andiko ambalo tulikuwa nalo It says there are four things. Linasema kuna mambo manne. That Solomon did not understand. Ambayo Selemani asingeyaelewa. He says the way of an eagle in the sky. Akasema ni njia namna ya tai akiruka angani. He says the way of a ship upon the sea. Na meli ikiwa baharini. Says the way of a serpent upon a rock. Na kisha njia ya nyoka juu ya mwamba. And he says the way of a man and a maid. Alafu akasema na kutembea au njia ya au mwanamke na mwanaume wanapotembea na msichana. Yaani kijana na msichana wanapotembea pamoja. So 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 if Solomon was the wisest man. Sasa kama Sulemani alikuwa ndiye mtu mwenye hekima kuliko wote. And he didn't know these things. Na hakujua mambo haya. Who is going to tell us? Sasa nani atatuambia basi? This is the wisest man. Yaani huyu ndio mwenye hekima kuliko watu wote. He says there are three things I know not. Anasema kuna mambo matatu nisiyoyajua. And he says ye four. Akasema nam ni manne. That I do not understand. Ambayo sielewi. The way of an eagle in the sky. Namna ya kuruka kwa tai angani. So there has to come a greater than Solomon. Kwa hiyo inapaswa aje aliye mkuu kuliko Sulemani. There has to come a greater than Solomon. Lazima aje aliye mkuu kuliko Sulemani. And preach as the eagle stareth her nest. Alafu ahubiri somo kama tai anavyosambaratisha kiota chake and start tracing the eagle anointing aanze kufuatilia ule upako wa tai and shows you the way of an eagle atuonyeshe sisi ile njia ya tai until it comes to au, the eagle in this generation ndege anavyoruka yule tai mpaka ifike kwenye kizazi and tells you that the eagle anointing atuambia kwamba upako wa tai is a prophetic anointing ni, 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 ni upako wa kinabii it is a god anointing ni upako wa Mungu mwenyewe. And he says the way of a ship upon the sea. Na akasema ya kwamba njia ya meli baharini. He says why are people so tossed about? Akasema je, ni kwa nini watu wanayumbishwa wana yumbishwa? Because the tossing wana rushwa rushwa kama meli inavyoyumbaga baharini. Tossing is associated with ship. Kwa sababu kuyumbishwa yumbishwa kuna kuna ambatana na na na, 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 na nini? Na meli. And after he preaches Why people are so tossed about? Baada kuhubiri kwa nini watu wanayumbishwa yumbishwa? He comes and says the anchor. Akasema tatizo ni kwamba hawana ile nanga. He says you, there is a rock. Oh my. Akasema kuna mwamba. There is a rock under the sea. Kuna mwamba kule chini ya bahari. Where you need to let down your anchor. Ambapo inakupasa ushushe nanga yako. He says you cannot put your anchor on a, on a church. Akasema uwezi kuweka nanga yako kanisani. He says you can't put your anchor on a man. Uwezi kuweka nanga yako kwa mtu. You have to put your anchor on Christ. Inakupasa uweke nanga yako kwa Kristo. The way of a ship upon the sea. Njia ya me, ya, ya meli baharini. And then he comes he says the way na kisha akaja akasema njia ya ya nyoka juu ya mwamba that means if, if, if the serpent has got a way on the rock inamaanisha kwamba kama eh, nyoka nyoka akiwa anapita kwenye mwamba that means that is when 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 a serpent goes that, that's the trail of the serpent hiyo inaonyesha kwamba akipita hivyo huo ni mkondo wa nyoka It takes a greater than Solomon. Anahitajika mkuu kuliko Sulemani. To come and tell us what is the way of the serpent upon the rock. Atuambie kwamba huu mkondo wa nyoka huu ulitoka wapi. And he comes and he says a rock. Akaja akasema it means confessions. Akasema mwamba inamaanisha kukiri kwako. Confessions of Christ. Kumkiri Kristo. So that means the way of a serpent upon a rock. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha kwamba njia ya nyoka juu ya mwamba Brother Branham says there's a lot of confessions there. Anasema ndugu Branham anasema kwamba kuna kukiri kwingi about au maungamo mengi kuhusu Kristo. But he says there are false confessions. Lakini anasema ni maungamo ya uongo au wanakiri mambo ya uongo kuhusu Kristo. So the trail of the serpent. Kwa hiyo njia ya nyoka starts by the preaching of the serpent. Inaanza na mahubiri ya nyoka. He is confessing Christ. Anamkiri Kristo but is not confessing Confessing the right Christ. Lakini hamkiri Kristo wa kweli. That is the witchcraft in the church. Huo ni uchawi kanisani. Witchcraft in the church. Uchawi kanisani. Is not taking muti. Sio kuchukua 
so that you bewitch somebody. No, 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 no. No. Witchcraft in the church. Paul comes to the Galatians. And he says, You foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you? So witches are not those ones that were African tradition. Sasa wale hawakuwa ni aina fulani hawa wenye mila za Kiafrika. No, they are they are wearing suits and holding Bibles. Walikuwa wakivaa suti na kubeba Biblia. That's the trail of the serpent. Hiyo ni njia ya nyoka. The serpent was the second preacher in the garden. Kwa sababu nyoka ndiye alikuwa mhubiri wa pili to give a false confession upon the word of God. Ambaye alihubiri ukiri mbaya juu ya Kristo. And then he says the way of a man ndipo akasema sasa njia ya mwanamke uh, mwanaume na msichana amen mwanaume and the maid na msichana they are the end of the picture hao ndio mwisho wa picha eh? the man mwanaume and the maid na, na msichana can this one right naweza nikaandika so 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 it's it's men and then maid ni mwanaume na bint msichana so you see it's 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 men unaona ni mwanaume id ni kitambulisho cha mwanaume so 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 this is the identity <laughs> kwa hiyo huo ni utambulisho of the men wa mwanaume just like it's men ni kama tu ilivyo mwanaume and na mwana mwanamke and womb Men. Um, men yani yani huyu ni mwanaume tu mm. lakini huyu ni mwanaume mwenye tumbo la uzazi yeah um, men so so this one is so the man and the woman is the same thing kwa hiyo mwanaume huyu na huyu ni mtu yule yule the man that's why it's a mystery ni kwa sababu ndio sababu ni fumbo at the end mwishoni ni fumbo that the man and the maid kwamba ni mwanaume na msichana the, the groom and the bride bwana harusi na bibi harusi brother brother says elijah and elisha ndugu brana anasema elia na elisha he says elijah the husband anasema elia mume he says elisha the bride anasema elisha bibi harusi he says do you see the similarities in the names mnaona huo mfanano katika mwisho so so that means the men hasa hiyo inamaanisha kwamba mwanaume the one Mwanaume na huyo mwanamke ni mmoja. So when uh, Solomon is looking, hasa wakati Sulemani anaangalia mambo hayo, he sees a man. Anaona mwanaume. Ah. Anasema, he eh. looks at this man. Anamwangalia huyu mwanaume, mwanamme. He says it's not a man, it's a, it's a woman. Anasema, ah, mbona mbona alikuwa mwanaume, mbona kama sio mwanaume ni mwanamke tena? He's like, ah, 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 ah. Eh. What is going on here? Ni nini kinaendelea hapo? Is this a man? Je, huyu sasa ni mwanaume? Au ni mwanamke? The men and the maid. Mwanaume na mwanamke. have become one. Wamekuwa mmoja. So when a greater than Solomon comes. Kwa hivyo wakati aliyemkuja kuliko Solomon anapokuja. Union, anakuja anahubiri ule muungano wa si usioonekana. Muungano usioonekana wa mwanaume wa mbinguni, wanaharusi wa mbinguni na bibi harusi wa duniani. Now now no, the, the union has already happened. Sasa muungano tayari umeshafanyika. <laughs> the union has already muungano tayari happened umeshatokea That's why it says it's the invisible union Ndio maana anasema ni muungano usioonekana So people are waiting for the union Kwa hiyo watu wanangojea muungano but, but the union has happened Lakini muungano ushafanyika It's a secret union Ni muungano wa siri Hallelujah And the invitation na mwaliko invitation cards was only sent to those that are part of it na mwaliko ulipelekwa kwa wale tu ambao walikuwa sehemu ya hiyo brother Branham says in it, it is the rising of the sun akisema katika ujumbe wa kuchomoza kwa jua he says and as he being the groom na anasema na yeye akiwa bwana harusi the bride has to come forth inapaswa bibi harusi atoke because it's part of him inapaswa bibi harusi naye ajitokeze kwa sababu yeye ni sehemu ya huyo mwanaume it can only be the manifestation of the fulfilling Ina, of all revelations inapaswa kuwa ni uh, kutimia kwa madhihirisho ya uh, mafunuo yote 
all revelations, isn't it? Yeah, all revelations. Yeah. Let's, let's pause there. Ebu tutulie kidogo hapo. The bride must be a fulfillment. Bibi harusi anapaswa awe ni kutimizwa. Not, not of some of the revelations. Uh, sio 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 kutimizwa kwa baadhi ya mafunuo. Everything. Kila kitu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Every revelation. Kila ufunuo. You must be the fulfillment. Wewe utakuwa lazima uwe kutimizwa. He says any others have spoke of the bride. Yote yalinena kuhusu bibi harusi. He says it can only manifest. Anasema inaweza tu anaweza tu kudhihirika. He says if it does something different from the groom. Kama huyo bibi harusi akifanya chochote tofauti, kama kama ikifanya chochote tofauti na bwana harusi. It isn't the bride. Basi huyo sio bibi harusi. So the bride when she is doing whatever she is doing. Kwa hiyo bibi harusi anapofanya chochote anachofanya. It must be just like the groom. Lazima kifanane na cha bwana harusi vile vile. Because she is the flesh of his flesh. Anasema kwa sababu yeye ni nyama katika nyama yake. Born of his bone. Fupa katika mfupa wake. Life of his life. Mai uha katika uhai wake power of his power nguvu ya nguvu yake she yeye bibi harusi is him yeye bibi harusi huyu ndiye huyo bwana harusi bwana harusi bibi harusi bwana harusi na bibi harusi you are bwana harusi wewe bibi harusi ndiye bwana harusi our authority is not sonship uh, wawa our authority mamlaka yetu sio ya uana it's Our authority is not sonship authority. Uana uh, mamlaka yetu sio mamlaka ya wana tu. It is it is godship. Ni uungu. Uh, amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mnasikia ninachosema? We, 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 we are going beyond being sons of God. Tunaenda mbali zaidi ya kuwa wana tu wa Mungu. Just to be saying we are sons, we are sons, we are sons. Tusema tu sisi ni wana, sisi ni wana. Huyo bibi harusi is him yeye huyo bibi harusi ndiye yeye huyu bwana harusi she is the groom yeye ndiye bwana harusi here we are seeing the lord here hapa tunamuona bwana this hapa. is the lord huyu ni bwana are you hearing what i'm saying mnasikia let me give you another one hebu niwapeni nyingine god's provided place of worship mungu mahali alipopachagua mungu pa kuabudu he says the church will come through justification anasema kanisa litapita katika kuhesabiwa haki through luther kupitia Luther through, uh, uh, through sanctification uh, through, uh, through Wesley kupitia utakaso kupitia John Wesley through baptism uh, of the Holy Ghost ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu and the Pentecostals uh, wa, kwa wa Pentecost and go right on into perfection na ina, iende moja kwa moja katika ukamilifu of the son of man ya wa mwana wa Adam he says that's when husband and wife anasema hapo ndipo ambapo mume na mke will be the self same person watakuwa ni nafsi ile ile mtu yule yule i feel like jumping over it there na natamani niruke nidondoke huko nje <laughs> did you hear that mmesikia hilo self same person yani mtu yule yule uh, th- th- this oneness is different from my oneness and my wife huu umoja ni tofauti na umoja kati ya mimi na mke wangu. Mimi and my wife we are one but we are not one like this what I mean. Mimi na mke wangu tu wamoja lakini sio umoja wa aina hii. This oneness is self same. Huu umoja ni wa nafsi ile ile. The, the husband and the yani wife. Kwamba mume na mke is one. Ni yule yule. If you want to see him, ukitaka kumuona yeye, you see me. Unione mimi. We hey. The Bible says Biblia inasema at that day siku ile you shall know mtatambua I am in the father ya kwamba mimi niko ndani ya baba That's another dispensation Hicho 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 ni kipindi kingine The father is in me na baba yuko ndani yangu That is another dispensation Na hicho pia ni kipindi kingine And I in you na, na mimi ndani yenu It is this dispensation mimi ndani yenu ni kipindi hiki. So you can ask me like Philip. Kwa hiyo unaweza kuniuliza kama Filipo. To say pastor Mahere. Mchungaji Mahere. Just show us the groom. Hebu tuonyeshe bwana harusi. And then I'll say you have seen me. Na kisha nitasema you have seen the groom. Nitasema aliyeniona mimi amemuona bwana harusi. <laughs> If the message does not come there 
Kama ujumbe hauji hapo. Then we are not preaching it. Kama ujumbe haufiki hapo, basi you see me you have seen the father. Kama hatu ujumbe hautufikishi hapo, basi hatujauhubiri vizuri. Mwanza. Huwezi kumuona baba, yani ukimuona ukiniona mimi umemuona baba. Yes, Mwanza are you hearing me? Mwanza mnanisikia. You have seen me. Mmeniona mimi. You have seen Jesus Christ. Mmeona Yesu Kristo. You have seen Pastor Arnold. Mmeona Pastor Arnold. You have seen Jesus Christ. Mmeona Yesu Kristo. I have seen you. Nimewaoneni mimi. I have seen Jesus Christ. Nimemuona Yesu Kristo. Amen. One more. Nyingine moja. One more, one more. Nyingine moja. For the road. Nyingine moja njiani. Christ the mystery of God revealed. Eh eh uh, great Christ is the uh, Christo ni siri ya Mungu iliyofunuliwa. He says, "Now we see the promise being fulfilled." Sasa tunaona ile ahadi ikitimizwa. Christ, Christo, the true headship, ambaye ndiye kichwa halisi. Going in, kikiingia, coming in his bride. Kikiingia ndani ya bibi harusi wake. So we are in the bride coming of Christ. Sasa tuko katika bibi harusi kuja kwa Kristo. <laughs> Christ is coming in his bride. Kristo anakuja ndani ya bibi harusi wake. So we have the ministry of the son of man Christ being revealed in the prophet. Kwa hiyo tuna eh, we have the ministry. Tuna the fumbo la mwana wa Adam akija kwa uh, coming to the bride. Being, uh, Christ being revealed by the prophet. Ah, okay. Kristo akifunuliwa na nabii. But now we are in the time where Christ Sasa lakini sasa tuko kwenye wakati ambapo Kristo is being revealed now anafunuliwa sasa in the bride ndani ya bibi harusi So we have we we, we have Eleazar Kwa hiyo tuna Eliezer hapa is living Abraham anaachana anamwacha Abraham Abraham represents Jehovah Abraham anamwakilisha Mungu Yehova So so uh, Eleazar represents the prophet brother Branham Eliezer anamwakilisha nabii Branham And then and then Brother Branham is sent by God. Na kisha ndugu Branham ametumwa na Mungu. To look for the bride for Isaac. Atafute bibi harusi kwa ajili ya Isaka. Isaac represents Jesus Christ. Isaka anamwakilisha Yesu Kristo. Is that right? Hilo ni sawa. So so he says go and get a bride for my son. Kwa hiyo anasema nenda kanitafutie kanipatie bibi harusi kwa ajili ya mwanangu. Uh, specific place. Na uende mahali maalum. And then he says, but how can I go? Akasema sasa naenda endaje? you know I need something to go with me. Nahitaji kitu fulani cha kwenda pamoja And Abraham says, put your hand under my thigh. Na ndipo Abraham anamwambia, weka mkono wako chini ya paja langu. So that you can get the secret. Ili kwamba uweze kupata siri. That the thigh is a place that only a woman should see. Pajani ni mahali ambapo ni mke tu anaweza kuona anaruhusiwa kuona Not even my brother can see my thigh. Hata ndugu yangu haruhusiwi kuona huku vumbu wa mapajani. My thighs are only seen by my wife. Huku mapajani kwangu unaonekana na mke wangu. It's a secret place. Ni mahali pa siri. So Abraham is allowed access. Kwa hivyo Eliezer is allowed access. Amepewa fursa ameruhusiwa kufikia to the secret place of God. A, afikie sehemu ya siri ya Mungu. And then Abraham says an angel na kisha Abraham anasema shall go with thee. Malaika ataenda pamoja nao. And you yourself you are not going alone. Hata wewe mwenyewe hutaenda peke yake. The messenger doesn't travel alone. Eh mjumbe aende peke yake. He is given 10 men anapewa watu kama kumi which is a type of the fivefold ministry ambayo ni mfano wa zile huduma tano so 10 you have got five that are false and five that are true kwa hao kumi wanamaanisha kuna watano wa uongo huduma tano za uongo na huduma tano za kweli all of them go zote, with Elias zote zinatakiwa zimsindikize zi, zi yeah <laughs> they must go with him zinapaswa ziende pamoja naye but, but before he gets to the well lakini kabla hajafika kisimani the bible says the angel went before him biblia inasema malaika akamtangulia and he, he, he has a prayer with the angel. Na yeye akawa na maombi na kwa malaika. Brother Branham says it was 30 minutes before. Ndugu Branham anasema ilikuwa nusu saa kabla. The appearing of Rebecca on the well. Nusu saa kabla Rebecca hajatokeza kisimani. Did you hear that? Mlisikia hilo? He says it says the, 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 the maid who come and not give only me akasema yule msichana atakaye kuja na asininyweshe maji mimi tu but also my camels lakini anyweshe pia ngamia wangu let her be the one hebu na awe ndiye so when he said that kwa hiyo aliposema hivyo the angel left eliaza aliposema tu hivyo 
Yule malaika akaacha akamwacha Eliezer. And it went to Rebecca. Akamfuata Rebecca. And it says when you get to the well. Akamwambia Rebecca wewe ukifika pale kisimani. Have you ever heard of the tent vision? Mewahi kusikia kuhusu ono la hema. Branham says the light left me. Ndugu Branham anasema ile nuru iliniacha. And it went into that little room. Ikaenda katika lile hema dogo. And people were being healed without understanding what happened. Na watu walikuwa wanaponywa bila kuelewa kinachoendelea. So the angel tells uh, Rebecca kwa hiyo malaika akamwambia Rebecca When you get there ukifika pale just say I want to feed your camels also. Sema nataka niwanyweshe na ngamia wako pia So 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 Rebecca gets there Kwa hiyo Rebecca anafika pale And she's, she's, they say can we have water Alafu anaambiwa naweza ukanaomba maji A human being if they are thirsty maybe they will just drink one liter Unajua wa, watu kama wana wana kiu sana wanaweza kanywa tu nusu labda ni lita moja. But a, a, a camel drinks 200 liters. Lakini huyo ngamia anakula anakunywa lita 200. So what was Yaani yani, yani, nani sikiza madumu 20. So so eh? what what was madumu 10 nadhan. Eh? Is it? Eh madumu 2000. 2000. Uh, uh, 1000 uh, liters. 200 liters. Yes, 200. Lita 200. Dumu kumi. Yeah. So 200 liters one camel. Kwa hiyo hizo hizo dumu kumi ni ni, ni ngamia mmoja. So 10 of them it means Sasa, it was it was it was uh, yeah. 20000 liters. Kwa hiyo kwa sababu ngamia walikuwa kumi, uh, liters. Ilikuwa sorry. ni lita 2000. Yes. Ambazo kama hapa ilikuwa ni madumu mangapi? 2000. Madumu kumi tulipata eh. Madumu kumi basi ni madumu 100. So what was asked of ye? <laughs> Sasa kile ambacho alikuwa ameombwa what was spoken was little kile ambacho kimenenwa kilikuwa kidogo compared to what was not spoken lakini kukilinganisha na kile ambacho hakikunenwa this is this is the hidden manna hiyo ni maana iliyofichwa because <laughs> that's the abstract of the title this hiyo hiyo ni ile ni ile hati ndogo ya ile hati kuu with all the details ambayo ina taarifa mbalimbali the, the details are not explained on the pulpit ina taarifa kinagaubaga ambazo zile kinagaubaga hazielezwi mimbarani the details are explained in your heart zile eh, uh, taarifa za kinagaubaga yani chembe kwa chembe hizo zinaelezewa moyoni mwako so 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 if you ask rebecca kwa hiyo ukiungemuuliza rebecca she will say something said to me ang- angekuambia kuna kitu kiliniambia so When we say something said to me wakati tunaposema kitu fulani kiliniambia it's a humble way of saying the angel said ni, ni njia nyenyekevu ya kusema malaika aliniambia haleluya haleluya after that baada ya hapo elias takes it Eli, elias akamchukua and goes to his father's house akaenda kwa nyumba katika nyumba ya baba yake and when he goes he gets there na alipoenda akafika pale uh, he gives them gifts and everything akawapa zawadi na kila kitu he says i've come to take Uh, this this lady here akasema nimekuja kumchukua huyu msichana so that she can be wife ili kwamba apate kuwa mke to my master son wa bwana wangu wa wa mwana wa bwana wangu so 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 abraham is his master kwa hiyo abraham ni bwana wake and isaac he does not mention that he is my lakini master lakini hamtaji isaka kuwa bwana wake so he says and then the father says we are going to break the custom ndio sasa baba akasema hapa tutavunja mila because we want the bride to speak kwa sababu tutavunja mila tumuruhusu bibi harusi anene kwa sababu kwenye mila yao alikuwa atakiwi kuongea western culture does not allow the girl to speak eh mila za kule mashariki haziruhusu huyo msichana aongee what the father says is fine baba akishasema yameisha but when it comes to rebecca lakini ilipofika kwa rebecca because she's the wife of isaac kwa sababu ni mke wa isaka she must speak lazima naye anene amen and she speaks na ananena after she has spoken baada ya kuwa amenena the camels that she fed wale ngamia ambao alikuwa amewanyweesha maji are the ones that carry it hao ndio wanambeba tena it is the message that you are feeding from ni ujumbe huu huu ambao tunakula that will carry you to the other dimension ambao huu ndio utatupeleka kiwango kingine so so she gets on the camel kwa hiyo akapanda juu ya yule ngamia and now now it's eliasa and the bride na sasa ilikuwa ni eliaza 
akiwa na bibi harusi so you see in the ministry of elias sasa unaona katika huduma ya elias there is change of ministries kuna kubadilika kwa huduma there is times he is just talking about abraham kuna wakati Eliezer anazungumzia tu Abraham. But there is a time that is now talking about Isaac. Lakini unakuja wakati ambapo anazungu, anamzungumzia Isaka. Because to everybody else. Kwa sababu kwa kwa wengine wote. He talks about my master Abraham. Anazungumza nao habari ya bwana wangu Abraham. But when he has got Rebecca now. Lakini wakati amempata Rebecca. He cannot continue talking about Abraham. Hawezi kuendelea kuzungumza habari za Abraham. He says that she the Jehovah of the Old Testament. Anas- sema yule Yehova wa gano la kale is Jesus of the new ni Yesu wa gano jipya when i was saying abraham my master kwa hivyo wakati ule nilipokuwa nikisema abraham bwana wangu all the things that belongs to abraham belongs to isaac nataka kukuambia yote alionayo abraham ni ya isaka and all the things that belongs to isaac na mambo yote aliyo ya isaka belongs to you ni ya kwako pia so seeing you there kwa hiyo hebu wewe na wewe you are a special woman yone hapo ya kwamba wewe ni mwanamke maalum so, 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 so they start going kwa hiyo wanaendelea kwenda towards where isaac was wanakielekea pale Isaka alipokuwa and when they get there na walipofika pale it was not eleaza sio eleaza that said that is isaac aliyesema yule ni isaka the bible says and she lifted up her eyes na biblia inasema huyu uh, eh, rebeka akainua macho yake and she saw him in the field akamuona akiwa sh- akiwa eh, shambani mahali fulani uandani akiwa uandani and she never had asked any other man in the journey na hakuulizia mwanaume yeyote but of this particular gentleman lakini huyu jamaa mmoja muungwana she, she said unto Eliaza akamwambia Eliaza who is that man in the field akamuza, yule mtu pale uandani ni nani there are many clouds that were taken all the other years kuna mawingu mengi sana yaliyoondolewa but the one of 1963 lakini moja wapo la mwaka 63 the bride to ask Eliaza biharusi limpasa amuliza who is that in the field yule ni nani pale uandani remember eh, eh, Isaac was not at home Kumbuka Isaka hakuwa nyumbani. He was in the field. Alikuwa shamba nani uandani mahali. Just like the cloud was not taken at home. Kama vile ambavyo wingu alichukuliwa alichukuliwa picha nyumbani kwao. It was taken in the field. Lilikuwa liko mahali fulani uandani. Just like Ruth did not meet Boaz at home. Eh hey, hiyo Ruth didn't meet Boaz at home. Ruth hakumkutana na Boaz nyumbani kwake. Hey, Ruth met Boaz in the field. Ruth alikutana na Boaz shambani. Us, we are not going to meet Jesus at home. Hata sisi hatutakutana na Yesu huko nyumbani. He says we shall be changed. Anasema tutabadilika. And we shall meet him in the air. Na tutakutana naye hewani. So the meeting is in the field. Sasa kwa hiyo kukutana ni shambani. But there's got to be a man. Lakini hapaswa kuwa na mtu. That can show us that is him. Anaweza kutuonyesha kwamba huyu ndiye. And when she saw that. Na sisi na yeye alipoona. The Bible says she lighted Bibiliya off the camel. Anasema akaruka kutoka kwenye ile mtu ile kama. And she failed her face. Ngamia akavua eh ile nini akavua shela lake so the, the unveiling now kwa hiyo kule kuvua shela sasa it's no longer the unveiling of Melchizedek the groom sio kuvua kwa Melchizedek bwana harusi it's the unveiling of the bride ni kuvua shela kwa bibi harusi because she has covered her face now sababu amefunika uso wake sasa she is meeting with the groom anakutana na bwana harusi and when that happened na hilo linapotukia eliaza said eliaza anasema there is my master huyo ndiye bwana wangu for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza he never, Eliezer, he never called El Isaac master hakuwahi kumuita Isaka bwana wangu until Isaac and Rebekah were in the same place baka Isaka na Rebekah walipokutana Mungu awabariki sana Mungu awabariki sana God bless you We will meet again tomorrow Tutakutana tena kesho God bless you we we'll meet the youth after this Mungu awabariki sana tutakuwa na vijana baada ya hapa Pastor Patrick Mchungaji Patrick